We are getting closer to cooking like the Jetsons, where all you have to do is press a button and whoosh, dinner is done. Case in point, these all-in-one machines, which claim to do a lot, but they're expensive, and are they worth the money, Adam? Julia, these things sell like hotcakes throughout Europe and Australia. And they're endorsed by famous chefs like Thomas Keller and Heston Blumenthal. Totally true. We can get them now too, and they do promise a lot. You can see what the form factor is. They essentially look like a stand mixer. Mm -hmm. There is a base with a work bowl on top. The base has a motor. It also has a heating element because in addition to prepping ingredients, these things will cook the ingredients for you. It is a pretty bold promise, and it is a very steep price of admission. We got these for between $395 and almost $2,000 for this lineup of six. That's pricey. Crazy. They come with a bevy of attachments though. I mean, they will chop, they will grind, they will knead, they will grate. They're supposed to act as blenders. Some of them do special things like slow cooking or sous vide cooking or steaming, even making caramel. Hmm. They all come with their own recipes, either in a separate booklet or programmed right into the machine. Hmm. So the way we approached the testing was to try a bunch of their recipes and then ATK counterparts to compare the two. Bread dough was one of the recipes. We did theirs and ours, and that was a win for all these machines. Hmm. They were able to produce really beautiful, elastic, silky bread dough. So score one for the all-in-ones. Hollandaise was another test that we did. Mm -hmm. That was essentially a fail in most oh, of no. these. There were a couple of reasons for that. The appliance honestly is new to a lot of our testers. So there was a learning curve and it was hard to nail the heat exactly. So some of them got a little too hot, scrambled the eggs. Second reason is that a lot of these will only operate with their chopping blades installed. And that scrambled some of the eggs huh. in the cooking bowl too. The risotto tests were sort of a mixed bag. Testers had better luck with the recipes that came with the machines. Mm -hmm. With the test kitchen recipe, that was a chicken risotto that started by browning pieces of chicken. Mm -hmm. Most of them, because the blades have to be installed in order for them to operate. <laughs> I see where this is going. Yep, it chucked the chicken around the bowl. <laughs> <laughs> didn't brown well. In some cases, it got all nicked up. Ugh. The rice got beat up in the risotto. There were two machines, though, that did a better job for a couple of reasons. These two mm -hmm. can be operated without their chopping ah, blades That installed. seems key. That's totally key. So the chicken browned a lot better. Also, their work bowls are a little wider at the bottom. So that was a big help in terms of the browning of the chicken. More surface area. Testers also tried using these as food processors mm -hmm. by making a mirepoix, which is that mixture of onions and carrots and celery, dicing pancetta and grating Parmesan. And again, a lot of these didn't do a super job at the mirepoix. It came out a little slushy. There was that learning curve involved. It was hard to get it just right except for this one in front of me, hmm. which was just as easy to use as a regular food processor. Huh. It was intuitive to figure out, and the mirepoix was crisply cut and lovely. And testers actually thought this one overall was the easiest to use. The controls are simple and straightforward. It has sort of a familiar form factor. It was a little easier to clean because more of its parts were dishwasher safe than some of the other That's machines. Key. That is key. So if you want to inch towards the Jetsons and you're cooking, <laughs> you're going to want this, which is the Cuisinart Complete Chef Cooking Food Processor, $700. Oof. So it's not cheap, but you know what? It outperformed all the other ones as a food processor. It did a great job as a stand mixer. It did a really good job cooking the food. It wasn't a terrific blender. That was its Achilles heel, but all of the other functions were up to snuff. Wow, so you actually would recommend this. You know, the tester who tried this, I had to pry it out of her hands. <laughs> really? She didn't want to give it up. All right, I was pretty skeptical about these in the beginning, but there you have it. If you're ready to enter the world of all-in-one machines, look for the Cuisinart Complete Chef cooking food processor, and that's going to run you about $700. Thanks for watching America's Test Kitchen. What'd you think? Well, leave a comment and let us know which recipes you're excited to make, or you can just say hello. You can find links to today's recipes and reviews in the video description. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel. See you later. I'll see you later.